climate change is already having significant impacts on agriculture. So we've got um, not just the gradual change in agri uh, um, climate change, so we've got temperature change, we've got changes in precipitation patterns. Um, those, are, those are important in the long term, but it's also the introduction of more climate variability and more climate extremes. So we're seeing and directly attributable to climate change, we're seeing increased frequency of droughts and floods, even sometimes in the same area, um, as well as these um, heat waves and, and um, uh, that have occurred over India recently, also in various other parts of the world, which are having significant impacts, not just on crops, but also on livestock and livestock health. Agriculture is largely um, impacted more in develop, develop, developing countries than developed countries, um, s simply because of their latitude. So many developing countries are in the, you know, in the tropical regions and the subtropical regions, and that's where the, the the greatest effects of climate change are already happening. So these these ecosystems are already on the edge in terms of agricultural production, and climate change is just pushing them over the edge. There are a bunch of ways that um, developing countries can can adapt to climate change. I mean, there are there are simple ones which are to do with changing practices, so that, for example, if you've got in the middle of a heat wave, you could have access to water, you could have have uh, areas of shade. Other longer term solutions to improve the resilience of agroecosystems include things like um, integrating trees into agricultural landscapes, so agroforestry which provides shelter for livestock, also provides um, uh, better water holding capacity, farm ponds, those sorts of things to retain water. So there's a whole bunch of things that can be done that don't cost a lot of money and would move us towards better practice and also improve the resilience of the system.